Hello, this is Marlene Dinarios here from the Latinum Institute, and in this video, I'm going to help you memorize the endings of the fifth declension using a mnemonic. For this mnemonic to work, we have to arrange the cases in a particular order. It's the same order we've used for the first and the second and the third and the fourth, and now we're at the fifth declension. So if you've gone through the previous videos, you should know it by now, but if you haven't, here they are. We start off with the casus recti, uh, the nominative and the vocative, we keep them together, the Roman grammarians liked it that way, so nominative and evocative. Following on from that, we put the accusative case, then the ablative case, then the dative case, and finally the genitive case. So that our nominative and our genitive are at the beginning and the end, and these are the cases that are given in the dictionary, so you know which declension a word falls into. So, that's it. Let's run over them again very quickly. So, nominative, evocative, accusative, ablative, dative, genitive. That's the order we're using. The mnemonic for the fifth declension is this. S and M, A, A, A. All right, a bit of a strange one. S and M, A, A, A. And how does it work? Let's look at the word res for thing. So S and M. So res and res for the casus recti, for the nominative and the vocative, es, es. That gives us our S of the S and M, es, es. And then the accusative is, of course, M, rem, rem. So that's our S and M part. And then we have the E of the ablative, re, re. And then the little funny thing at the end, when uh, the person's being pinched or whatever is happening to them, they go, A, A, right? So S and M, A, A or whatever that AA means. It doesn't really mean anything. It's a mnemonic to help you remember. So um, REI for the dative and REI for the genitive. And also remember that if there's a vowel in front of the EI, then it changes to a long sound. So AKIEI. But um, most of the time, it doesn't have a vowel, like in this example of RES. So, S and M, A, A, A is the mnemonic. S and M, A, 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 that's our mnemonic. And let's do it with words. So what you need to do is look in your grammar book, find the list of words that are in the fifth declension, and then start to practice using them uh, using the mnemonic. So S and M, A, A, A. So res, res from the S, and then the accusative M, Rem, then the ablative, e, re, and then the dative, rei, and the genitive, rei, s and m, e, a, a. And that's our mnemonic, and that's the endings. You should be able to get this memorized in under five minutes. All you need to memorize is s and m, e, a, a. Should be easy. And the key, of course, to all of this for all of these five is the order of the cases that um, I shifted things around quite a lot, um, fiddled around to find um, a nice system that I could create mnemonics with. And uh, you should be able to memorize this declension pretty quickly. So let's do it one more time. S and M, A, A, A. So S, res, and res for nominative and vocative. The accusative, rem, the ablative, Re and the dative, rei, and the genitive, rei. And that's it for the fifth declension. Bye.